good morning welcome to another video so in my last upload it was all about me fishing for a variety of species again something i've not done for a very long time and i'm so shocked at how well that video did it was barbel fishing on a clear river so if you've not seen that check it out but today we're out again i've got polis with me on the camera and we're going to be doing some pike fishing now i've not caught a pike since i was about 12 years old so i'm really looking forward to it and the venue of choice is another crystal clear river in london so haven't really got any gear i'm going to see what i can find out my cart fishing stuff and i'm going to go to the tackle shop buy all the bits we need and hopefully later on get to the river and what and we're going to do a humongous crocodilosaurus <laughs> crocodilosaurus all right let's go mate <laughs> One thing I had ordered in preparation for this trip was a little six foot dwarf rod. That, coupled with a freshly spooled GT6000 reel, was at least the main item of tackle covered. Let's go mate. Shut the door behind me. See you in a bit. Right, how are we getting this tackle shot? Mate, if you slid without them, you'd be going about 100 miles an hour. Hey! Hey! Right. Hey, she's going for it. It's your people, turn. People in London have got so, such good vibes. It's your turn, mate. <laughs> Long time no see. This is what we're after. That'll be us later, mate. <laughs> That's a beast in here. <laughs> Big trout. Got that little roach, didn't he? What? Got some mackerel if we're doing some dead baiting. Yeah, man. Floats, hooks, lures, traces, dead baits, forceps. I was ready to do some pike fishing. Right, we've made it. So we're actually at Walthamstow Reservoirs, which, clue in the title, is a series of big reservoirs, which I'm sure do hold pike. But I've been fishing the Copper Mill Stream, which is just to my left, it runs alongside the Lower Maynard Reservoir, and I've been fishing for the carp. However, I've been seeing pike the whole time. Multiple decent looking fish. One close to 20 pound, the others good upper doubles down right by the start of the stream where the inflow pipe is. So we're gonna start off there. We haven't got long, but yeah, for now, get some dead baits out. Enjoy the lovely evening yeah. and you never know, maybe a big pike. As we only had a few hours before sunset, I wasted no time in getting set up. A ledger dead bait along the far wall was going to be the plan of attack. Now a moving bait is no doubt more effective. However, casting towards the flow pipe would mean the bait would gently flutter along the bottom, hopefully enough to fool one of these big pike. I give it to you, that was a shot, you know. That was, that went, that was actually beginner's luck. That was a <laughs> proper shot. <laughs> Gotta be lucky sometimes, isn't you? I suppose catching one so early on would have been too good to be true. However, I did enjoy my first evening pike fishing the stream and I couldn't wait to return for a full day at it. morning <laughs> I can't feel my ears already we've only been outside 10 minutes it's like minus four last night I woke up on the boat this morning like should I go today 
on a Sunday, minus four. Yeah, can't catch them at home, can you? So we're here back at the Copper Mill. That, of course, is warmer. It's a flowing water. Sorry, it's flowing water. So probably two or three degrees warmer than the lakes. And the plan of action, go to the end, get a dead bait out, and then after about an hour or so, roam up and down the river all day long. No one else is here, so we've got free roam. And hopefully, for getting out in this cold, we're rewarded with a big pike today. Let's get going. With the visibility being poor, I intended on fishing the dead bait again, just whilst the light levels began to rise. Now there was a very good chance that there was already a big pike waiting to ambush small fish along that back wall. So I didn't want to take any chances and I made the extra effort in dropping my bait out with the bushwhacker. That way there was no chance I could spook anything. Right, plan of action, Jay. What's going on? Plan of action. Sun's coming up, which is what I was waiting for. And as I was about to reel in, we've just seen a pike sitting in the middle of the river right in front of us. So, lead's come off. I'm going to twitch this little dead bait past it. Come on, hopefully I get a bite. Mate, there's two. What? Is that next week? Yeah, one in front of the other. And they're both mid-doubles. They just come out of nowhere, aren't they? Mate, it's, I've got it right in front of its face. How are they not interested in that? How? What is? Didn't even look twice, mate. It must know, like, it's not a real fish or alive. The water's super clear in it, to be fair. That's got to take that. Not hungry, is it? As I walked into the next swim, I spotted a pike straight away sitting in a shaded area in the near margin. And I hoped that this one would be more inclined to feed. Yep. Yep. Yes. <laughs> no way. Yes. Fight number one. Mate, that took it immediately, bro. Oh, the net. The net. <laughs> it's, it should be in there, mate. It's just, it's all right, I'm filming with the GoPro. Yeah. Come on. Yes. <laughs> Come on. First pike. Yes. <laughs> Get in. There's a carp there as well. Mate, I can't believe that. Three pike over there rejected that. I come into this swim a little bit more shaded, a little bit more cover, like what I was saying. And honestly, I just flicked it out like, oh, whatever. Didn't even let Polish get in position to film. And it just looked at it straight away and just went bang within like two seconds. Pike number one. Well, my first pike in about probably eight or nine years. Granted, not a monster, but typical of the clear river. Really nice markings on it and a good bit of sport. We've got the rest of the day ahead of us. Hopefully we can get a slightly bigger one. Let's get it back in. Lovely colours, isn't it? Lovely colours. Look at it, man. Looks like, like a tiger, isn't it? Yeah. I then ventured off downstream, casting in multiple likely looking areas. That is screaming pike. Posh. And I've just cast it over the twig. Brilliant. Imagine I get a take now. This is important, bro, so this is the only one I've got. Yeah. Oh, you absolute 
Somehow, I managed to get that back. I then carried on down the river, but I couldn't seem to find any pike. Once I reached the end of the stream, I decided to call it a day. With one more session to go, I really hoped it would be a success. Unfortunately, my cameraman couldn't make it, so I was gonna be traveling alone. Now, I only had a few hours fishing ahead of me, so I wasn't gonna be sitting on static rods. I was gonna be moving up and down the river, casting in every single swim under all the likely looking snags. Now, I did actually see some small pike straight away, but this time round, I didn't even bother casting at them. I just really wanted one of them better ones. There's a pike. Right, I've seen one. Go on. Oh no. Ah, oh, no. It took it, but my line got blimmin' tangled. Yeah, big pike, big pike, no way. <laughs> Please don't come off. Oh, that's a good pike. That is a good pike. Come on. Oh. Come on, I knew as soon as the cameraman left, I'd get one. Come on, that's a proper fish. That is a proper pike, back at her net she goes. Come on, yes, get in there. <laughs> oh my God, get in. Oh, I'm so happy, I was starting to think how many sessions am I gonna to have to come here to catch this big pike? I've just rang Polish, told him I've got a mid double, which is the end of the film. That's all I wanted from the river. And luckily he's got a couple of hours where he can come down and help me get some good pictures. So rest the pike, probably have some lunch and then get it out. Mate, I knew as soon as you left, I'd get one. How you doing bro, you good? Yes. What have you got there? The old, the old go dolphin, <laughs> the old dolphin special. Go on, go and catch, go and catch the 20 pounder. How big do you reckon it is? Mate, I can't say I've weighed many pike recently, but I reckon it's it's over 15. Yeah? Proper one. Oh, Film done. One. Film done. Yes, Fine, bro. Is he? Let's get it out. What a fish. That is exactly why I came to the river. I've been seeing these pike for years while I've been carp fishing. And that is probably my PB. My PB previously is about 13 pounds. This one, definitely over 15. Lovely colouring, proper river pike. Let's get it back and head off home. Well, that's a wrap. Where are we go next, Polish? What are. is the next target? Now, big barbel. We're going over to the Trent to catch a big 18 pound barbel. Polish wants an 18 pound barbel from the Trent. 15 pound plus. 15 plus. Yeah, 15 plus. What's yours? I want a 15 plus too. Yeah. yeah. And, I, and there is some carp, so I might bring some carp gear as well. But yeah, hopefully that will be the next video. So thanks for watching. See you next time.